being hailed by Commander Eliathi of Razorback, who wants us to parlay. We've got a rule against playing with our food. That seems a little more bloodthirsty than we've been. A yeah, little. Just tiny. But we can at least talk. <laughs> I should hope I have a name on the frontier by now. <laughs> I should hope, at this point, the commander that wiped out all three Tarian armies. <laughs> uh. You realize we have a term for what you're talking about here, right? Not my circus, not my monkeys. They're paying this, me for this. This is just another another day in the life of a capellan, unfortunately. Yep. The capellans take a dim view of a lot of things. Yeah, a sermon that I hate to break it to you, they don't care if it was in a, in just Volkovite terms. They don't want anybody saying this stuff. The Capellans don't particularly like churches anyway, although later they're very Taoism and Buddhism. Although, um, if you're talking about the Warrior House Orders, what the hell are those? They haven't come up. Uh... <laughs> Basically, the Capellans have these units that are warrior monks, effectively. The warrior house orders are have their own forms of spirituality. They're actually very cool units and one of my favorite concepts in the Capellan Confederation. Paying you to pull the trigger. Yes, we are the jackboot. It's like, I don't write the contracts, but let's, let's say I'm not okay with this. What's your counter offer? <laughs> so we got a house of these here and have a danger. We'll come out on top and we get double the payment. I'm listening. Hmm. Hmm. On one hand, I understand where they're coming from, but on the other, I really don't know if I want to piss off the Chancellor. Again, the Death Commandos are a thing, and the Maskarovka is a thing. I think we kind of have to, uh, I think we kind of have to stick with what we had, <clears throat> you know? Because <laughs> I don't really want the KGB breathing down my neck for the rest of my life. Mm -hmm. Because I have a feeling that that uh, the Chancellor would not let this go. I have a feeling there there would be a grudge being held there. Max Liao is a remarkably petty man. Mm -hmm. Also, he's also eventually he is underpants on his head insane. So yeah, Let, his daughter Romano. His daughter, Romano, who takes over after him? Even worse! <laughs> we, we are, we are doing the jerk thing. I like that. My contacts in the Maskarovka tell me you rejected the offer. 
A wise decision, Commander. Yeah, yeah. The difficulty increases a little bit here. Maybe they'll actually punch through to the arm on the Burton this time. I mean, that was what got blown off the last time. Mm -hmm. Which, I'm not really crying over it because we didn't really lose weaponry. And I'm sorry, if, if they're a mercenary company and they're completely crippled by one mech getting taken out, they, um, they, they've still got work to do. To be fair, in, in the lore of the game, this didn't have much of an impact on the tabletop game, mind you, but in the, in the universe lore... The, uh, the Cyclops does have the uh, B-2000 Tacticon computer, which is wonderful for uh, directing, like, planet-wide battles. So while it doesn't have, like, an individual effect, it's useful for, say, a general to have. That said, most, uh, most Cyclopses don't have a functioning one, so... Yeah, the, let's put it this way. The Chancellor's not that stupid. Hmm. He he has people to shoot other people for him. He, he earned the nickname El Diablo for a reason. Yeah. Uh, Liao, Liao is crazy. He is not stupid, necessarily. Um, he does make a couple of really bad calls down the line. Um, and goes into full, like, cackling supervillain, but he he pulls off some plans that work reasonably well for the Capellans, for a while, at least. Let's see, a 50-ton mech over there. Somehow I'm not threatened. I copy. That is the hunchback. Okay, yeah. That, that can definitely give us a bad day, but it won't be doing that for. No, it won't. Need something, Chief? Move into position. What's this over here? A sixty-ton mech, a eighty-ton vehicle, and an eighty-ton vehicle. The vehicles are the things that scare me the most. <laughs> Especially at 80 tons. Yeah. Yeah, that is the AC-20 Hunchback. I've got eyes on hostile reinforcements. Okay, we've got more, we got more coming in to deal with this. I kind of expected that. Don't yeah. Me twice. Commencing alpha strike. And the AC twenty crit. Huh? So I think that I, I think that uh ready for orders. I think that hunchback is pretty much nothing at the moment. It's definitely regretting its life choices. Yep. Especially since I just blew off its right torso. And 
I can't really hit anything else. Yeah, I can't... Nothing else is within reach for me right now. So, that, uh, that hunchback is about to have the worst day imaginable. Yeah. Not only did I blow up the center torso, I blew up the AC-20 ammo at the same time. There's not enough left of the mech to identify it as a mech at this point. You missed. Okay, that one didn't miss so much. That's a worrying amount of missiles. That's only... I think that's only an LRM-20. Although the worrying amount of lasers and PPC I just got hit with. That, that screams, uh, K2 Catapult to me. A 60-ton mech over there. Never mind, that screams something else to me. 60 tons, two PPCs, um... Da -da 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 -da. Some type of Jaeger mech, maybe? Or is that 65? The Jaeger mech 65. It could... There's a rifleman with two, uh, with two PPCs. It's a major heat hog. It, it is a rifleman. Okay, yeah. And yeah, it's it's about to overheat. Okay, I don't know if you're going to earn a potato. It's not it's not in a forest, but we'll see if you can earn a potato here. <laughs> no, nope, not enough hit the head. You did, you did shoot the hell out of its right side. <laughs> uh. Barely a hit, Commander. can't target anything specific, but do I have to? Because, well, both of its legs are just about gone, really. It, it has no leg armor left. Uh, I feel like they missed an opportunity in this game. Um, when we were raiding that Lost Tech cache back in the uh, main story... I feel like they missed an opportunity by not sticking the Rifleman 2 in. Just just to have them be like... Oh, I am annoyed. But I did blow off both of the Rifleman's legs. What's up, boss? I finished that particular job. Moving out. Shave and a haircut. No legs. Snubbies shouldn't exist, damn it. Well, let's see if these exist anymore. Nope, that, that, that doesn't exist anymore. The balance of the universe has been restored. <laughs> this is how we are dealing with your rage about things existing. I just blow them up and they no longer are, exist. <laughs> there we go. Problem solved. What are you... A demolisher? Of course you're a demolisher. I'm just gonna stay over here. Roger that. See, they have reinforcements coming. They're just not here yet. Yeah. Waiting for orders. So, so there are actually a couple of wet navy units in battle. Um, a couple of boats. They're not that big, but um. One of them is canonically, we send this kit that Move her down. planet militias can, like, equip their own boats with. One of them is literally, we took the turret off of the, a demolisher and made it waterproof. Hmm. 
so, so it's basically, hey, we sent you some armor and this big turret. Put it on a boat. There you go. You have a navy now. Okay, let's see. So the enemy reinforcements look like they're somewhere in this zone. We haven't seen them yet. Okay, so they are kind of in that zone. We get a 65, a 70, a 65, and a 65. Oops, all Jaeger mix. <laughs> so the Genesis is there. Well, hey, there wind up... There winds up being a version of the Jaeger mech that is 70 tons. Uh, hey there. It gets nicknamed the Jaeger mech, too. It's one of those odd things that, like, I feel like one of the writers was kind of asleep at the switch when they were doing it. Um, but uh, they're, they're a product of, like, the 3050s, the 3060s. Um, one of them has two Gauss rifles and oh, cool. next to no armor. <laughs> So yeah, one of them is a needy Jaeger mech, another one is a grasshopper. The Jaeger mech only has AC2s on it. Oh, it's the missile Jaeger mech, which is supposed to be rare. Why do they have that? Eh. I, I don't think I'm too worried about an LRM-15 and two AC2s. I mean, the, the... it's a lot of missiles, but... As much as I love odd configurations of mechs, there are some configurations where I go, why does this? And the Missile Jaeger mech is one of those, because the Jaeger mech is very much a House Gabian mech. Um, eventually, House Karita gets a production facility, but they don't fucking want it. Um, Commander? The Jaeger mech's very much a House Gabian mech, and they start making the Missile Boat one. And that would make sense if House Davian didn't have access to other missile boats. But, like, um... Pretty sure they have a longbow production facility at some point. They definitely produce the Archer, they produce the Dervish, so it's not like they need another missile boat particularly. Also, they steal a bunch of catapults from the Capellans at some point. So yeah, that's two Jaeger mechs so far. That 65-ton mech. And the Grasshopper. By the way, you, you did get a potato, so... Woo! I, I can... I can pontificate and potato at the same time. Yes, yes you can. However, I can target something on the Grasshopper. Oh no! <laughs> It was a grasshopper. Shame, because the grasshopper is also a rare mech until the 35th. Copy that. Copy that. For, for a long time, the grasshopper was one of those mechs that was kind of underrated in the tabletop game, just because it's not as flashy as some others. But if you're playing intro tech, like, completely. Compared to something like a Marauder or a Warhammer, the Grasshopper does not freaking die, and it's amazing. That one died. That one very also, much died. Also, the Jaeger mech did not survive a missile volley. Good to go. Jaeger mech's, ex Jaeger mech's ammo died. So thus, so did the Jaeger mech. Whenever I talk about, like... My, canon my canonical self-insert characters for every faction, which is a conversation I have with my brother once every year or two. We we've basically concluded that e even though I don't like House Davian, um, I if I were to have a canonical Davian character, he'd be a Jaeger mech pilot. Not because the Jaeger mech is good, just because I find the Jaeger mech hilarious. And 
those were some very unlucky rolls on the on the computer's part there to finish off that mission. Mm -hmm. Both the Jaeger mech and the Thunderbolt both died due to a due to uh, ammo explosions. That that's more a thing you'd expect in the tabletop, but they scratched the paint. Yeah, well, the Burton actually took a thunderbolt full in the face, so. Okay, what's the biggest, baddest thing here? Probably the grasshopper. I could Although you can actually get a whole right thunderbolt. Yeah, we can get a whole thunderbolt as well. Well, I only have the... I, let's get the... I think I have the, that thunderbolt. I don't think I have the 4D Rifleman. Gotta catch them all. Yep. And they gave me a piece of Jaeger mech. Not that I think there was anything good here, but I'll still, just another medium laser. E. Nothing amazing. So these missions are kind of on the shorter side so far. Mm-hmm. That mech you wanted is back online. Yeah, the all energy rifleman. There was actually a mech that was it was originally designed as an all energy replacement to the rifleman. It's extinct by this point, um, the Galahad. And it eventually got upgraded into a Gauss boat. So it was a 60-ton du dual Gauss machine that the Star League had. Mm -hmm.